infinity and beyond! Infinity is a fascinating idea in mathematics that unravels a domain of complexity and limitless possibilities, quite literally. Rather than a specific value, it is a concept that characterizes something as boundless and goes on forever indefinitely without reaching an end. It is denoted by a symbol known as the lemniscate, which is often used to represent the potential infinity of something. Think of it this way. Infinity is not a certain number or point on the line, but the entirety or size of the line. Speaking of size, this brings us to a crucial question. Do all infinities have the same size or cardinality? Spoiler alert! They don't. Some infinities are bigger than others. We'll be using the idea of bijective functions, and these establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between elements of two distinct sets, ensuring that every element of one set gets paired up with an element of another, regardless of the set's cardinality. Let's apply this in investigating whether whole numbers and integers have the same cardinality or not. Intuitively, it may seem that the set of integers would be much larger than the set of whole numbers, since they have extra negative numbers, whereas whole numbers only consist of zero and positive numbers. However, this is not the case. By pairing the elements, such as 0 and 1 by themselves, then 2 with negative 1, 3 with 2, 4 with negative 2, and so on, we observe a pattern. Odd whole numbers match with positive integers, and even whole numbers match with negative integers. This one-to-one -one correspondence shows that the infinite set of whole numbers and integers have the same cardinality. These are examples of what we call countable infinities, sets that have elements which can be counted or enumerated in a systematic manner. In contrast, we have uncountable infinities, such as the set of real numbers, which encompass both rational and irrational numbers. Listing every element of this infinite set is impossible because there would always be a smaller or larger number. I could simply add 10 more zeros to a certain decimal, and it would still exist as a real number. All in all, infinity is a concept that aids mathematicians as they dive in the vast world of mathematics, surpassing boundaries and achieving the seemingly impossible.